Hello, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can succeed in a symbolic logic course. Now, most of us fall into one of two categories. We either get it, everything makes sense, we don't understand why other people don't get the material, or we fall into the category of those who don't get it and who suffer. Now, there's no better camp to be in, and I'll explain why, but the short story is most of us fall into the struggling camp, myself included. So what can we do uh, to be successful, to suffer less? Well, first, let me say a little bit about uh, folks who fall into the camp of, or the group of, of uh, individuals who, who just get logic, right? It makes sense right away. Um, the learning challenge and the learning goal uh, is to be able to explain to someone what you know, right? So if you just get it, if it just makes sense, it's actually really hard to explain how and why you get it. And so the, the learning challenge becomes uh, how you can unpack uh, what it is that just makes sense to you, right? The rest of us are actually working in the reverse direction. Uh, we're spending our time trying to grasp the system as a whole, to grasp the big picture. And so because we have to sort of explain it to ourselves as we're going along, right, by the time the, the, the aha moment happens, and it does, uh, when things just sort of come together and the system makes sense, right, we're already at that point able to explain what we know. Okay, so um, let's talk about uh, uh, how to address both by way of effectively um, the, the same success uh, uh, tips. So uh, first thing that you want to do is break the work up into chunks. Now, um, that's hard to do in any circumstance, right? You've got lots of things going on in your life. You may be taking a short semester uh, course, which means there's not a lot of time to grasp uh, the material. But do your best to chunk the material. Um, our textbook, as it happens, does a really good job of chunking the material so that you aren't overwhelmed by too much all at once. Um, so if you can work a little bit and then walk away and then work a little bit and walk away, that's great. Um, on the other hand, if you want to see how things piece together into a larger whole, you can always just sit and work in a concentrated way for longer period of time. So you figure out what works best for you. But my advice is for most of us, the chunking tends to work because then we're not overwhelmed. Um, the You also want to make sure that you practice, practice, practice. So symbolic logic is, um, is, is really a skills-based study, it's particularly when we're talking about um, some mechanical uh, um, features of the systems that we're studying. The more you practice, the better you get, right? Think about it this way. If you play an instrument, doesn't matter how talented you are, you got to practice to be really good, right? Similarly, you're uh, an athlete, doesn't matter how uh, talented you are, you got to practice to, to become really good. So the, the practice is uh, a way for you to um, learn the, the uh, mechanics of, for example, derivations, right? Um, you become skilled at being a strategic thinker, a strategic reader. Um, so practice is super important. Take advantage of the practice that uh, I provide as well as the practice, the additional practice that I provide as well as the practice that's in the text. Um, in addition, um, you want to make sure that you avail yourself of every opportunity to connect with me and with your classmates when you have questions, problems, confusions. So use our discussion board, our general discussion board. Uh, when we have a, an embedded tutor, avail yourself of the tutor. Um, our Pierce College tutors are wonderful. Um, and then, of course, make an appointment to see me if uh, I'm not in office hours so that we can chat about whatever is bothering you. And typically, once we're able to, to talk for a little bit, things start to, to clear up. So don't be shy about asking for help. It's really, really important. Don't be shy about talking through things. For example, like I said on our discussion board, our general discussion forum uh, devoted to all things logic. In addition, um, make sure that if you're stuck on something, that unless you think that you're, you're 
if you just worry it enough, you'll crack it, right? If you're just feeling lost, you're stuck, you don't really know what to do, or you're just feeling confused, lots of times getting up and walking away, doing something else, and then coming back is a way to reset your thinking. And then you oftentimes will uh, find clarity as a result. So that getting up and walking away can be a matter of literally getting up and walking away, coming back, you know, 20 minutes later or the next day, or it can be a matter of working on something else for a while, or it can be a matter of moving on to some something else within our uh, course of study, so within uh, the, the system of logic that you're studying. But so moving on and coming back is oftentimes a good way for you to crack whatever it is that's bothering you. All right, so I hope that these tips will serve you well. Um, and if there's anything that you can think of that you want to add to uh, tips for succeeding in symbolic logic, let me know.